You are awake. Good. My name is Kaylin, and you are in the city of Aurora. I have much to tell you. Walter? How is he? He is fortunate to be alive, but we have seen his condition before. We may be able to help him. Is there another of my friends here? I thought I saw... in the desert. A devilishly handsome soldier by the name of Ben Finn? Not dead yet, my friend. Please, come with me. Don't worry, he's a, he's a tough old nut. He'll pull through. It's so good to see you. When I was fished out of the local port and Walter and you weren't there, well, I thought it was all over. Then I realised I was being an ass, And I worked my charms to get a search party out for you. Not that Kaylin here needed much persuading. We are accustomed to misfortune. Now it is time you saw our city. Welcome to Aurora, the city of nightmares. The crawler did this. The being you fought in the desert caves. It appeared five years ago, bringing darkness and death. The few of us who still live have known nothing but fear since. We never know when it will come. And we cannot hope to defeat the creature and its spawn without an army. Even with someone like you by our side, Ben Finn speaks most highly of you. But you are not the first savior to come here. Please, walk down to our streets. See for yourself. Then we will talk more. Go ahead. I've seen enough already. I'll check up on water. the one who survived the desert night. Yes. We have not had much fortune with outsiders. But as you can see, fortune deserted us long ago. You have come to a cursed land. What are you doing here? Everybody else seems to be hiding. I am honoring the dead. My wife and my child. And I stand here because I do not fear joining them. I'm... Sorry. You may read their memorials if you wish. There are many elsewhere. On statues, doorways, wherever a memory will allow itself to live on. Now you know what we have suffered. But as I said before, you are not the first outsider to come here. Who was the other? His name was Logan, the King of Albion. Seems your big brother's been keeping secrets. He used to go on expeditions all the time, remember? Until about four years ago. He too faced the Crawler. He saw all his soldiers killed by the darkness and nearly died himself. But he survived thanks to our care. He left with a promise that he would return with an army and save us from the Crawler. We never saw him again. King Logan did not cause this, but he did nothing to stop it. Now I ask that you do what he... I promise. Then let us go to war. You have survived a terrible ordeal, but you will be the stronger for it. With Kaelin and the Auroran people on your side, you are finally ready to face your brother. It is time for you and Walter to gather your allies and take Bowerstone Castle.
How is he? Is he gonna make it? I do not know. The darkness is deep within him. Few ever wake. But he's improving. I mean, you're doing your thing and he's getting better, right? I do not wish to give you false hope. Perhaps it would be better if we allowed him to rest. Don't worry. He's a, he's a tough old nut. He'll pull through. Just yet. See? I told ya! Yes. Shame my first sight had to be your ugly mug. I'm sorry I left you, Walter. You did all you could. And don't think I don't know it. I told you you'd make me proud. Well, we didn't exactly find the army we were hoping for. And I feel about a hundred years older than when we left, but we're finally ready. You've surpassed every hope I had for you. You're the queen Albion needs. So come on, it's time to gather your generals and prepare for battle. You know, maybe I'll take a little nap first. <laughs> 